Hey guys, this is the final video. We were finally going to check the slab depth based on our assumption. And we're just going to have a quick discussion about what we've seen so far. So just to remind you of where we want to get to, we have this diagram here, which is the total depth of the slab. Um, and that is equal to the depth, little d, from the top to the centroid of the bars, plus the radius of the bar, plus the cover. Now we assumed at the start that the um, depth of the section, the de total depth of S, was 230 mils. So we know that we have an assumed DS of 230 millimeters. We've calculated D to be 192. So if I can just find that for you, we saw D was 192. Uh, we know that we're using N12 bars, which means that the radius of a single bar will be um, six millimeters. And the final thing we just found in the previous video was the cover, which was 25 millimeters. So we have all those values there. So now what we need to do is check these values against that and see if it makes sense. So if I draw up what we have for a particular width of slab, we have little d to be 192. That extends to the centroid of the bar. We have a radius of the bar to be 6 mils, and we have the cover to be 25. If we add that up, so 192 plus 6 plus 25, we get 223. Okay, so the total depth is 223. Now, our assumed depth was 230. So what that tells us is that this 223 is the minimum depth of slab required. Okay, so the absolute minimum is equal to 223. We assumed a depth of 230. Now, that's good, okay? Because our, our minimum depth is less than our assumed depth, it means that our assumed depth will obviously work, okay? Because anything more than 223 mils is satisfied. So because 223 is less than 230, this means that we are compliant.